All right, now I'm going to show you uh, how you can uh, use the new fu function of uh, Jet Engine for uh, the geo listings. So, um, for the geo locations, um, okay, let's do this on another way. And this uh, is for in combination with Fluent Forms front end submissions, what I showed you the other tutorials. So we have here in fields, and it's the address fields. This is the post type. And then we have here the address fields for within the advanced custom fields. Let's see where it is. Um, here it is. So we copy this and then we go into Fluent Forms. And this is the form that we have built the previous time. And it's this one, the post type. If you want to know how to set up this whole form, or see other tutorials. So when we're adding it, you can see here it's an address field. You can all use this field. The other one doesn't work. Only the the this one on the top. This don't work for the geolocation. Then you have to enable the geolocation map. Both of them, and you can choose whatever you want but uh, on click or on page loads so it will be pre-filled but it's up to you then of course you got the saved form and then you go to the integrations and you go to the post feeds and i've already showed you that the previous tutorial but in this case we have to make a meta field a meta field mapping and it must be the address and then it must be um, input address and it was line one now what does this mean this is very important otherwise you get conflicts so you see this one i've selected in here if you can see here then we have the address so this is the address and we have the address one so this is address is this one let's see it's the whole field see this is the whole field but it's address one and that was this one so this is important that you have to keep it in mind that you have to do it exactly this way and then of course you have um, the first the, the query and the query builder uh, let's see jet engine query builders and then you can see that you have that i've added a query builder it's super easy you give it a name you leave this as the way it is you choose a post type in my case this is the post type and to the geolocation and then you have to fill in the address so that's that's uh, is from the post type and the kilometers and when you are using miles and you can also use the miles so let's see a preview that so this is 20 kilometers from this city so it works uh, on the geolocation of this particular city and when we say that we want to have 200 kilometers and we refresh it then you can see that we'll be adding another city and there's this one so it works now just do it exactly as i told you because otherwise it won't work and then 
you go into the search filters to the smart filters and then you're gonna add a filter I already did, did this this is the easy one so go to the filters give it a name give it a query variable you can separate with commas if you want to use the query variables if you don't use it just embed something otherwise it won't work so it doesn't matter what this is you can do whatever you want if you don't use the query variables but just fill in something and that's the other thing that you have to do and then you have to uh, use a geo location now later on we're gonna show you how you can use the search filters for people who want to search for a particular place but that is later on so let's go to the older pages then we have a map we've made a map on this page this particular page and then the only thing that you have to do is adding the filter and the query but what was important that you can use fluency RAM. So this is the map. And then you can see here that we have a custom query. The custom query that we've made, this is the query that we have made, so we have to check it. Then inside here you can put in the filter and then you must choose for the filter so the geo filter and then you have to edit in here and then search for the particular filter that we've made and then use for jet engine maps now if it doesn't if it doesn't work just remove it Yes, so then don't use the, the search filter. It can be that it won't work because it's jet, uh, a jet engine map filter. So we're going to delete it. And then we're going to update it. So that was it. So let's just try to use it anyway. <coughs> so we have to filter type. Uh, As you can see it works fine so let's try to filter it out mm. so you just can use it anyway so let's see then we say well it was 20 let's just do it on 20 So yes, it works fine. Everything works fine, actually. So you have to put in the filter so that uh, it will automatically recognize there will be a pop-up for uh, the location. Do you want to perm permit uh, to search on the particular location where you are now? And then uh, they have to agree. It. But um, this was also other tutorials, that is my advice, because th this is tutorial was not for uh, explaining everything, what you can do with the maps, uh, with the JIT engine, but it, the main thing that I wanted to uh, mention and want to exp wanted to explain you was for Fluent CRM. So you don't have to use the JIT engine. And I think that Fluent CRM is a little bit uh, further in everything but uh, for, for what's the forms so um yeah that was what i wanted to show you and i'll see you later thanks a lot